Hello, this is Carmen with Carm3D.net and I'm going to uh, do a tutorial on rigging feet. Um, I have uh, gone through the f follow the instructions rigging details for rigging uh, reverse foot rigs and their work. They work and that's cool but uh, I don't understand every little gizmo in that rig. I don't know why every little bit does what it does. Uh, so I've developed my own thing, and it's just it's just I'm, I'm weird that way. I need to know every little facet of my rig. I need to know what it does and why it does it, so that uh, I have I feel like I have complete control there. So I'm going to show you what I do, and uh, you know you can choose to use it, or if you choose not to, that's up to you. Maybe we'll still be friends. So uh, I have my object loaded. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, that's line light properties. Go to my object properties, and I'm going to put the subdivision order for last. And let's start making our standard bones for the leg. We're going to make this bone, call it root. Let's call it leg root. Let's move that up here. I'm going to uh, shrink that down some. I'm going to add a child bone. We'll call it leg thigh. And I'm going to zero out the position on that and then rotate it down. Actually, I'm going to go to my left view. Turn on bone x-ray. There, now I can see better. That's good. And we'll add a child bone. Like calf. Add another child bone, like foot. Like toe will be our last bone added in this manner. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit too. Tell you what, actually, I'm going to add another child to this bone. I'll call this foot support. And I'll just have that. This is unrelated to my rig. I'm just going to have it there to reinforce the heels deformations there. And I will uh, hide that because we're done with that. I'm going to pick all the bones, hit the R key, everybody's rested. Okay, one thing I don't need is that I don't need any strength on this bone, the root bone. So I'll see what we got so far. Well, first of all, I can see that we're flirting with gimbal lock here. And uh, I am old school, so I'm going to uh, create a base bone instead of recording the pivot rotation. I'm going to clone that. I'm going to rename this guy to Thigh 
base and uh, parent my thigh to the thigh base and parent my calf to the thigh. Pick them all, re-rest them with the R key and uh, I do need to turn the strength off of the thigh base bone. Shrink that guy down. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can hide him as well. Okay, so we got this guy works. This guy works. Looks good. Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick I learned from, from my friend Splying God, aka Larry Schultz, on how to deal with this pinching here. And we're good with the toe. Okay. Let's fix this area here. I'm going to call this calf support. Move this back a bit here and rotate. And this guy is pushing into the area that was getting pinched in, so it's going to reinforce that area there. So now if I rotate the foot, that's good, but I'm going to take this foot support bone and increase its race length a little bit. Actually, that's probably not the most efficient way of doing it. Let's add another su support bone there. <coughs> Pardon me. That's really quite nice. Nice tip. Thanks, Larry. Okay, we could do the same thing right here, but I'm not going to to save time because it's unrelated. This is all about the foot. So uh, I'm going to stop this recording now, and in the next part, we'll deal with the foot.